YouTube, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping by. I'm Mike and this is Round 2 Woodworks. Last video we started making a cabinet for my shelf. Uh, what I've done, all the pieces have been cut basically and now I've got a, a dado, uh, put a dado in here so the shelves will fit in it. So that's what we're doing right now. We're going to be do, uh, putting this last dado in for the second shelf, and then we will uh, uh, put this box together and see see how it looks, one step at a time. So let's get let's get going on it. Okie dokie, we got the uh, the clamps, the 90 degree clamps uh, pretty much on there. What we'll do is we will use a countersink drill, then we will uh, use an inch and five eighths screw, put a little glue in there and screw them up and uh, this box should be complete. Let's see how it goes. Okay, YouTube, another step down. There it is. The completed shelf. Now all we got to do is put the back on it, put some stripping up front to cover up the, the edges, and put the, the doors on it. But right now... I don't know if you can see that, but it is 95 and a half degrees on President's Day 2016 in February. So it's too hot for me out here. I gotta, I gotta go in and get some cool water and uh, wait till it cools down before I get any farther on this. So anyway, we'll carry on and a little while when it cools down. All right, it's five o'clock and uh, it's only 89 and a half degrees now. So I gotta come out here and strip some thin edging for the, the cabin. So let's get this thing on. Now we got the thin strip jig on, set it an eighth of an inch, so we'll be cutting eighth of an inch. Or so. Okay, now we're going to cut the side pieces to 35 inches.
Right on the money. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Still 86 degrees at almost 6. Cows. All right. Now all we got to do is tack this thin edging onto the box and we're moving right along. Okay, YouTube, we've got the edging done, so tomorrow I'll just uh, sand it, and then it'll have to be shellacked. Tomorrow we'll cut the back, staple the back on, pin the back on, and then we will uh, do the doors. We're going to pocket screw the doors, then run a, a, an edge around a dado around the edge so uh, we can put the plastic uh, plexiglass in. and. Uh, Gee, by tomorrow, this thing should be ready to be hung. So, it is like 6.30, it's still 82 degrees in my shop, and uh, I'm kind of tired and beat, and I think I did a good day's work, so uh, I think it's time for a, a cold one and a bite of dinner. So, uh, we'll snap our fingers and we'll be here tomorrow. Wow, that was fast. Overnight and a snap of a finger. Too bad we can't go back in time so we can unscrew up our screw-ups. But uh, we're back in the shop. We're going to get this thing sanded. We're going to uh, start pocket, uh, pocket screwing the door frames. And that will be on the agenda today. Uh, and also putting the back on. Let's get on it.
just cut it down the middle and our doors are done. Then some sanding and we'll do the back. And that, that that's winding this puppy down. Okay. I had to run over to Harbor Freight and get a dust mask. You might have seen me sawn yesterday uh, without a dust mask. And I usually don't like to do that, but the last one I had broke, so I was without and I saw it anyway. So it's not a good thing, so I wouldn't suggest it. Cut the back. coming along. I think it's coming along. I'm pretty happy so far. Well, just got back from the doctor, so I thought I'd do a little uh, router. <laughs> Well, YouTube, appreciate you stopping by. I was hoping to have this done today, but obviously I'm not, and this video is getting awful long, so I'm going to have to make this another part. So I hope you come back uh, 
in, tomorrow and see uh, the finished pro project. I've got to put the dado in for the glass, put the doors on, s shellac this, put the French cleats on it and hang it up. So tomorrow it should be done. So I hope you come back and until then, I, you be well and we'll see you then. Take care.